I'm by name of Chiwanuka Bendikito Rutaya. And uh, I take this opportunity to present to you the three aspects and are very important in man's life, which are very important in sustaining man's life. These are food security, ecosystem, and agroforestry. Briefly, let me talk about them one by one. Security is a situation whereby people within a given area have access, have the ability, and have the potential of getting good food, which is needed for their lives. In other words, people, whether they have gardens or don't have, they should be able to get good food, to have enough food which, is, which can sustain their lives. Another aspect is the ecosystem. Ecosystem, ecosystem is, a group of, is a group of organisms whereby plants, animals, man and soil live together and also they interact together. On the other hand, I have agroforestry. Agroforestry, this is a situation whereby a farmer plants trees, the same farmer plant, plants crops, and also the same farmer grows layers animals on the same piece of land or in the same area. I've, and also I use the same place to show you how agroforestry is preserving the ecosystem. Agroforestry has enabled this farmer and the surrounding, the surrounding people to have nutritious food. Just as you've seen, you've seen, we have purple trees here, they are here. These ones are a source of vitamins. In other words, they provide nutritious, they provide the vitamins to the farmer himself here, and also at the same time, they provide vitamins. They provide the vitamins to the surrounding people in case the farmer takes them in the market and sells them. Another way how agroforestry is contributing to food security is by widening the sources of incomes of the farmer himself here. We have seen the banana plantations. There is one here. As many bananas, there is one there, there is the second, the third one, and others, as you see in the video. In case a farmer is not having money, the farmer can cut one, takes it in the market, and sells it them to the, to the people who don't have access to the garden. When this farmer gets money, he's able to buy other foodstuffs which are needed for his life and he cannot grow them in the garden. The farmer can buy beef, the farmer can buy milk. All of those ones are needed for, the, for life sustaining. Another way agroforestry is contributing to food security is that agroforestry improves on the fertility of the soil. Which soil enables crops to grow? We have eggplants here. As you see, these eggplants are here because the fertility the soil fertility is, is maintained. The soil fertility is good. Otherwise, they wouldn't have grown up to this extent. Agroforestry improves on the fertility of the soil in the way that leaves from trees 
When they fall down, they load. When they load, they decompose, and then afterwards, they get acted on by micro-living organisms, which are found in the soil, and then, and then afterwards, they form humus, 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 which enables the crops, like eggplants here, providing employment opportunities. The farmer here is working with very many workers who are not his relatives. The farmer found these people on the streets, found these people in the villages when they don't have money, when they don't have what to do in order to earn money. He brought these people here. Right now, they are working with him. At the end of the day, these people are earning money. Which money these people to use to buy foodstuffs, to buy essential, essential materials needed for life for their people back home. Meaning, the food security for the people of their homes are secured because of agroforestry which is being practiced by the, this farmer here in the area. Another way agroforestry is contributing to food security is that agroforestry, we have, we have a mango tree here. Agroforestry is providing herbal medicine. The mango tree leaves and even roots, they are sources of medicine. They cure cough in children. When children go out there, they interact with others when they are praying. When they go to school, they share a lot of food stuff things from one another. That way, this farmer but the mango tree, meaning the children are safe from such airborne diseases. Eating mango trees is important on the side of food. The children without food by smoking. That way, this farmer is keeping his food safe from germs. Diseases like cholera are being prevented because of agroforestry through using these, these tree branches by, sm by smoking the food and cooking as well. Now, there is a lot of, there is a lot of ways agroforestry is contributing to food security. And I cannot finish everything, everything. Now, having seen that, allow me to take you through, take you through the ways how agroforestry is preserving the ecosystem. We have seen a mango tree here. We have seen the jackfruit jack tree, the other side, as you see in the background. And also we have another tree, this, this side, which I you know in local language, that is the Mustasa tree. All of these trees, they help in rainfall formation. And that is, rain, that, that is the reef rainfall. During dry season, when the sun rays strikes the leaves, these trees, through transpiration, they, they release vapor in the atmosphere. When the vapor reaches the condensation level, it condenses. After condensing, after condensing they form rainfall. Which, which rainfall gives the man water for his, for his life? which he uses for food, for cooking food, and also for drinking, provides sheds. Right now here, I'm under a shed. This shed is provided by a mango tree, which mango tree was planted by this farmer here. Shed provides a conducive environment for micro-living organisms which are found in the soil. Place here is subjected to the direct heating of the sun. The micro-living organisms which are found in the soil, they don't feel the same way. The micro-living organisms which are in the, in the shed here, meaning the ones which are here, they are active as compared to the ones which are in the, which, which are in the sun. Meaning, when it comes to the decomposition of organic matters in the soil, the one who is in the shed will be more active as compared to the other one. 
Our farmer here managed his garden. This farmer used a lot of mulching materials. One, we have leaves from the mango tree. This farmer collects them and brings them here to cover the garden. At the same time, the farmer uses the banana leaves. All of these, these materials protect the soil from the direct heating of the sun. Meaning, the soil fertility is maintained in the way that the water in the soil is maintained for a long period of time. We have many ecosystem services and one of them is provisioning services. Briefly, provisioning services, these are benefits which man gets directly from the environment. Second, we have vegetative services. Vegetative services, these are the ones which man gets indirectly from the environment. In other words, natural services are seen in various ways. One is herbal medicine and also in practices. Man gets food from the environment. We can have a look here on the banana. Takes it home, cooks it, and eats it. That is food. And that is a direct benefit which this farmer has got from the environment because of agroforestry. The medicine itself. I talked already about mango tree leaves. You can also have a look again on the mango tree leaves. It's the building materials. Building materials. This farmer here constructed a poultry house where he keeps his birds, the tree, from tree pieces, pieces. Yeah, I was talking about the building materials. The farmer used the tree pieces and tree of cuts and he con constructed the chicken house and grass. The farmer uses them for feeding animals and they provide with eating feeds for animals. This farmer gave me a stool and from this stool I have enjoyed my food. So this stool is, this stool is because of the furniture, is because of the tree, the tree pieces which the farmer gets from the environment which the farmer gets from the, from the ecosystem. Now, talking about agroforestry, you can't finish everything. It is a broad term. Having seen the provisioning services which are being provided by agroforestry, now, let me take you through the legislative services which are being because of agroforestry. One, we have, we produce out of carbon dioxide in the air. Which carbon dioxide is not safe for man's life. But it because of, because of agroforest, agroforestry, it provides a loom. It provides a loom whereby this carbon dioxide is being taken away from the atmosphere by these mango trees. By, by these mango trees. During, the, during their process of respiration. And then afterwards, they give us oxygen air. These so trees, they help to get out the, such bad gases during their process of respiration and then give out oxygen. The 
all of these places, they provide the room, they provide the conducive environment for macro living organisms to stay in, which macro living organisms are important towards the farmer, as we shall see on in the video. This eggplant has a flower. This eggplant will be able to produce a fruit only when this flower has been pollinated. And this flower will be pollinated by either a bee or bees, if not bees, by insects, other insects. But the bees and these insects, they all live in the environment. Which environment is provided by agroforestry? The bees lives on that bees, and also the bees lives, and, and even the insects lives on that trees. So because of agroforestry, pollination, when the banana grows, it reaches an extent when it cannot support itself. It reaches an extent when it needs something to support it in order to reach its maturity. And in that case, this farmer of ours, because of agroforestry, he was able to go in, the, in his garden. He got acacia tree, and right now is using it as is using it as a supportive material for this banana in order to reach its maturity. He to support his banana from here. In, situa in situations where a farmer is not able to support, to provide supporting materials, or when a farmer he was unable to see this banana that it needs a supportive material. But other farmers who do not support agroforestry, their banners end up in this situation. They don't reach the, the maturity stage. During heavy rains, during heavy winds, they get pulled down and then get spoiled. Last day is the cultural services within the environment because of agroforestry. We see culture in many aspects. One, we see culture in medicine. I talked already about a mango tree. Those are traditional medicines which we have practiced earlier before our generation. Because of agroforestry, mango trees are in the environment and they provide the medicine for cough. Another cultural service within the environment which is being supported by agroforestry is the, is the under region. We all celebrate, all Catholics celebrate Palm Sunday. We all go there. We go with palms. Those pieces are being planted. Those pieces are being cared for. And in areas where they are not being cared for, in areas where they cut them massively, they do not exist. Our farmer here planted them. Unfortunately, they are at the extreme end of the farm. But he has them. So that is, that is a cultural service. That is a, a religious service, which is being supported by agroforestry. The people get palm, palm, palm leaves, and takes them during the mass, the mass services on Palm Sundays. Talking about agroforestry, you can't finish everything. Allow me to stop here. I'm Chuanuka Bendikto Tutaya from Ukozi University, long distance learner.